Hey, Internet. What's happening? Oh, it's fighting. Okay. I just bought a microwave off of Kijiji. Boom. Check it out. It's the white one. And then this whole crappy tank of one here, which I just hauled up from the basement, we're going to replace uh, this one with this one. And this one is going to be the operating part of my Tesla coil because it's real gigantic and old and has a big transformer in it. We need that. We're going to salvage it. Now, I'm not really too sure how to properly discharge uh, microwave transformers. There's a technique to it. So I'm just going to run an iron bar over the cross, the anode and cathode points of the capacitor in there. Hopefully discharging it, not through me, which would be fatal. So, but first, since we're taking apart the microwave anyway, it's only natural that we have a little bit of fun with it. So we're going to microwave random things. Well, at least I am. I don't know about Daniel. Hey, Daniel, do you want to help me microwave random things? Nah. Yeah or nah? Nah. Nah. Uh, no. Okay, so... Let's witness some stuff in going into my grave. Okay, be back in a second. Take a look here. Here's the inside. And I think here we got some logic board here. Here we got the transformer, that's what we're after. Here we got what looks to be the capacitor. We have some kind of resistor there. So we want to go ahead and discharge that capacitor before touching anything else. Because if we don't discharge it, bad things will happen. But our main goal is to get that transformer. Let's uh, let's dig in, hopefully safely. All right. Okay. Hey internet. What? Uh, hey internet, what's happening? Okay, so I just finished ripping apart the uh, microwave and I found some really, really cool stuff. Uh, so I salvaged what things I, I could that I, I thought would be useful. And actually I found enough coil wire in the microwave, besides the, the coil wire that's in the transformer, to actually have enough coil for the secondary winding of my Tesla coil. Maybe. I don't know. It's yet to be determined. But just a little overview of the cool things I found. I found this, which is a fan. I don't know what voltage oper it operates at currently. I haven't had time to examine it. But in the back of it is also a coil that we could use. So I found that fan. Um, I found the light bulb. It's actually a 125 volt light bulb at uh, 20 watts. So that's kind of not really interesting, but that's there anyway. Um, I found a couple of high voltage relays. There's one of them. Uh, the coil activation is uh, 18 volts DC and it's able to switch up to 250 volts AC at 15 amps. So pretty uh, pretty sweet coil. I found two of those. I accidentally uh, broke the cap off one but uh, there's the innards of it and that also has coil wire in it too if uh, come to a very 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 last resort. Um, I also found, I also got, I kept the uh, the original power cord because it has these um, these connector ends on it, which makes plugging into the transformer and plugging to everything else really easy. So uh, less soldering on my end. I also found a uh, a bunch of wire, a bunch of connecting wire. So really good for high voltage applications. Uh, basically, if we if we need something that ha that's gonna handle up to 500 volts that should do it um, also kept the uh, 
the IC board from the display. And on here, we have another transformer full of coil. Bonus, really good. We also have another capacitor there, which could be used for random oscillation and stuff like that. We have a, looks like a PIC microcontroller for, uh, that's programmed for, for, to handle the touch interface and displaying the time and all that, blah, blah, blah. We could probably hack into that, solder our own, uh, our own BIOS on there, hack into that and mess with the, mess with the uh, display a little bit. But that's really, really kind of complicated. But not, anyway, that's not really important. Really, the other cool thing I found is, is a high voltage capacitor, gigantic ass capacitor. This is a high voltage um, 2000 uh, watt volt AC at 0.8 microfarads. So, oh, I like this thing. It's kind of scary though. And uh, last but not least, the main thing, the whole reason we got this shit ass microwave for. It's actually really heavy. Ah, the, uh, actually, I'll just leave it on the table. And, uh, the uh, high voltage transformer. Input uh, 120 volt AC. Output 4 kilovolts or 4,000 volts. Oh, my happiness. Okay, this should be a good start to uh, all the stuff we need. The only thing we need now is yeah, I might use this capacitor instead of the, uh, the salt water based capacitor, depending on, the, in, on its uh, capacitance value. It could mix or I might put them in series maybe, I don't know, I kind of want to, it'd be sweet if I could use my own because uh, I like it and there's some, what do you call that, like merit, like like soul that went into there, like my soul, so anyway, anyway, so yeah, that'd be cool if I could do that, and um, that's pretty much it, the only thing we need now are some bolts to create a spark gap, and oh, I guess we need a safety gap too in case the uh, capacitor overcharges and there's no flyback, so we, uh, it doesn't explode, because uh, yeah, that would be bad, so uh, definitely the spark gap or sorry, safety gap, I put that into the, uh, the schematic too. Um, and then the coil, so uh, probably some PVC pipe from Rona, so we can uh, roll a uh, secondary, and probably some copper tubing, which will serve as our primary. Hopefully, with uh, the, the voltage drivers and stuff like that, we're able to crank out, hopefully, 80,000 volts. We'll, we'll shoot for 100K, but uh, I don't know if we can get that much, and uh, that should produce some nice lightning effects. Oh, and we also need some earmuffs, because it'd be really loud. Anyway, that's it. That's all. I have a party to go to. I'm like really late. Oh, uh, if anybody else, sorry about that, guys. I'm just busy. Anyway, have a fantastic night.